going on guys so welcome back to another video uh this week's adventure is a fourth of july special i guess we're starting off doing a cavern tour this uh is a spot i've been wanting to go to for years has a huge gift shop two stories they sell like shirts hats cowboy hats boots there's food in there all kind of cool stuff actually so this is, uh, it's called Smoke Hole Caverns. You can rent cabins here, all kind of stuff. Um, it's like mining kind of, like they got like gemstone mining in there and there's a tour through the caverns we're gonna take. Um, it's basically just a huge like cavern system formed by a river. Um, I think I read that it was 18 miles long, 1400 feet in elevation. So it should be pretty cool. I hear that there's like ponds in there with like fish swimming around. It's all lit up. Like a little mini golf course going over here. So yeah, let's check it out. Door starts very shortly, I guess. So I'm probably gonna miss it. Okay, so when I left the caverns, I was trying to figure out where a campground was. And I spoke with the tour guide lady. She said, just go right up here. Turn right on this road, camping. So I did. That took an hour. Literally drove a whole hour. 
to find a campground. She acted like it was just right there. It wasn't, it was way over the mountain. And there was a lot of people there, a lot. But it was early enough in the day to where I decided I'm just gonna go look somewhere else. So I looked on a map that they had there and I found an area that I'm familiar with across the map. So I was just started heading that way, right? I just see a sign on the side of the road heading that direction that says camping, 10 bucks a night. Nobody here, right on a creek. Picnic table, fire pit, nice and level. So, complete accident, but found a great place. And it is humid out, like very humid. I'm getting on that creek for sure. But yeah, like there's campers here, like a lot of them. There, there, clear back. There's some up there on that hill. And there's not a soul anywhere. I, I didn't see a single person or vehicle or anything. Might have a place to ourselves. Just throw 10 bucks in the box, write down your name, good to go. And I saw some really good views of rocks around here. I'm gonna try to get for you guys. So, yeah, time to run up some firewood. Like, I wish that this camera did that any justice, how high and far away that is. But that is a good view. I like it. This area of the state is just nothing but huge rocks, tons of great hiking, great fishing, all kind of good stuff up this way. Just realized you're not going to be able to see it, maybe. Right in there is an American flag on a pole. No idea how you get up there, but I would like to be up there. Again, camera's going to do no justice, but that is huge. Way up there. Like, I don't know if that helps or not. See how high up that is, but that is... That is up there. Really wish this camera zoomed. I don't know. But it's just, I don't know, crazy how hot that is. Um, yeah, it's hot. It's, it's still hot. It hasn't cooled down the 20 minutes that I've spent setting up a camp. So, still think I'm getting that water. It's sounding better and better. I just happened to find a nice little waiting area out there, I think. So I'm gonna go back and get on my uh, swimming britches and my water shoes. I'm gonna do for a little dunk before we get a fire going and start on some dinner, I think. All right, so now that I'm out in the water, gives you a little bit better view of that. This water is chilly. Turns out it is going to rain a little today, but it doesn't look awful. Hopefully it'll clear up here shortly and we won't get completely soaked. I'm going to get a fire going here in just a second, but I've got a lot of cover from the trees, so I think we'll be alright for a few. Alright, so got the fire burned down a little bit. It's about down to where I can get the grate on there. So now what I need to do is start prepping some food here. Because I figured being 4th of July, I could do like a cookout theme, right? What most people do. So I got some hot dogs and I got some burgers. Well, I'm gonna make burgers. I don't really do like the pre-patty things. I'm gonna do smash burgers, I think. Got some new sauces to try. You get two this time. And Oh, and I'm making homemade hot dog chili. Mix it up a little bit, not so just straight out of the can, right? Uh, I've not made homemade hot dog chili in numerous years, so bear with me. I may wreck it. I know, the gumbo video wasn't the best. Kind of butchered it. It's 
so I gotta try to make up for it here and at least make an edible hot dog chili, right? So I'm gonna start prepping stuff for that. Get that going first, I think. Uh, I've got like a few good hours of daylight left. We should be able to do this before dark. Getting pretty hungry anyway, so start chopping an onion maybe. All right, let's start with an onion for this hot dog chili. Not sure how much to use, but I like a pretty fair amount, so I'm gonna start with about that much. All right, we're gonna start with about that much. I think that should be enough. We're going with one pound of ground beef here. Now we're gonna go in with a pretty unnecessary amount of butter, but I do not want to burn these onions up. So we'll... All right, try to get this sauteing up just a little bit. What is that? What is all that? It's sprinkled and like wasn't even enough to get anything wet. Sun came right back out. Now that, I heard some thunder. may get wet we may get rained on but don't care this is gonna be a good night I don't care what that rain says all right onions are definitely good and soft Get just a little color on them I think it's about time for some ground beef all right some 80 20 going in All right, so I have a pile of ingredients to put in here. So we're gonna start with some garlic powder. Cayenne pepper. Definitely like mine to have a little bit of a kick to it. Some ground cumin. Not a ton of that, just a little bit. Of course, gotta have chili powder. Want some of that. Going with just a dash of salt. Of course, you gotta have some pepper. That's way too much. And I always do some crushed red pepper. Okay, so the last time I made this, Dano's wasn't really a thing, but I think some spicy Danos would be good in here because it's good in about everything. So I'm going to give it just a dash of that. Finally, some Washer Sister sauce. A few good dashes of that. Now, just going to kind of cook that down. All nice and combined. Before we add the rest of our wet ingredients. I'm going a little tomato paste and tomato sauce. Okay, so hot dog chili is simmering away, tasting pretty good so far. And I'm about to start some burgers and hot dogs and toast my buns, but I do have a new camp saver to try. Now, I know this is old, older. I don't know when it came out. I didn't look into that before I did this, but I know that Grolsch is older, for sure. I've just never had one. They're just not around the house much, but I found a six pack of them up here. I don't know, that says 1615. I don't know what that means. I don't know anything about it. I just know they got these really cool caps. And I know they've been around forever, so they gotta be decent, right? I think it's pop them like that swings over out of the way I know you can reuse these I've seen people make like wine out of these bottles their own brew uh, their own moonshine like give it a try that is not bad at all I don't know what to compare it to. I 
if you're hearing thunder in the background, but it's trying to rain on me. That's really smooth. Like, I like that. That's good. Um, I have no idea what to compare that to. I don't know what it's even similar to. It's not bad. Definitely saving these fancy bottles. I know that. Here, these were $10. No, it was a four pack. Was it four? I think it was 10 for four. Because I think I remember thinking $2.50 a piece. Yeah, I think it was 10 bucks for four. Not super cheap, but I mean, they're fancy. Uh, I give it like a seven. I give it like seven. I mean, it's not the best thing I've ever had, but there's a lot of bad beers out there. I've tried a lot of them. Okay. So, I need to toast some buns before I wreck the skillets with the meat. And then start cooking hot dogs and hamburgers. This is going to be tasty. I'm going to have some cookout food in a minute, so I'm pretty excited. I would say that that's about a perfect toast. For me, anyway. Alright, so I'm going with the Nathan's Bun Length Skinless Beef Franks because I go all beef. I don't know. I just ate trash dogs as a kid, so I got older and tried beef, and they're way better. Still thunder. Still trying to rain on me. All right, just gonna kind of smash them out by hand, best I can do it. Then, I'll kind of smash them down with a spatula a little bit. Okay, so it's like an hour and a half later. Still sprinkling. Uh, just bound to happen today, apparently. But anyway, this is one of the new sauces I want to try today. Kinder's Dipping Sauce, the burger sauce. I got a burger made finally. I don't know what's in this. Sauce up your favorite burger, chips, veggies. Uh, I'm sure it's just like a mac sauce. I don't know. We'll try it. Yeah, it's kind of like a mac sauce. So all I got on there is pick one onion. A lot of onion, you can see. That's pretty good on some. Try this one here. Not bad. It's a little sweet for my liking. But it's not bad. Kind of like Mac sauce with a twist. Not too shabby. Any old burger you've cooked at a cookout. Pretty tasty. I don't know that I get that burger sauce again myself. I just like a little more spice to my food. So, now we have hot dog to try with some homemade chili and another new sauce. Starting off with some onion. Good bit of our homemade spicy chili. Pretty big fan of mustard on mine. Okay, let's try this now. That is not bad hot dog chili. Yep, it's pretty good. Definitely nice and spicy. So if you like a kick to yours, I'd definitely try that. And now the other new sauce.
Melinda's ghost pepper ketchup. I don't like ketchup. Some of you know that. It's just too sweet. I don't like it. But ghost pepper should be good. Should kill some of that sweetness, I would think. Oh, let's find out. I can smell the ghost pepper as soon as I opened it. It's definitely better than regular ketchup. I'm going to try it on here. I might like it. I don't know. It still has a lot of that ketchup flavor that I don't love. No. Not for me. It's better than regular ketchup. But the ghost pepper kind of, I don't know, kind of clashes with it. It don't taste right. Yeah. No. I'm going to give it like a 2-1. I don't think I'm going to have the rest of that. I'm just going to eat it plain with uh, the chili, mustard, and uh, chili, mustard, and onion. That much better without. Okay, I have one more variation to try here. We're going hot dog. Then, I'm going to add some of this Fritos jalapeno cheddar. I kind of want like a chili cheese dog. We're gonna try that. Okay, way too much cheese. Onion. And finally, a big old scoop of that chili. I got hopes for this one. I think this is gonna be tasty. Yep. That is a good chili cheese dog right there. Nice and spicy, cheesy. Dumping chili on myself. Once I need a shower, but I've had about an hour and a half worth of one. All right, I don't know if you guys can even see me because I can't even see me in the room. I'm not sad about it, but yeah, I don't know. Probably nothing. It is a little dark now. I tried to ride it out as long as I could to get dinner on camera in the light. But I was pushing it, so I tried to hurry. But the rain has calmed down to like a medium sprinkle now, I'll call it. But anyway, that was my version of a cookout. So, yeah, well, in a rainstorm. I don't know if I got that all on camera, but like it was lightning, thunder, the wind was blowing all the rain sideways, like it blew a bunch of stuff over, like full blown storm. But not letting it get me down. So finished dinner. Very tasty, of course. I mean you can't beat good old fashioned burger and hot dogs, right? That hot dog chili turned out pretty tasty. If you go somewhere like say TNL hot dogs or wherever you have local to you and get like their spicy chili. That's about what it's like. It's not overly hot. It's just whatever they have, but pretty good. Uh, that burger sauce, not bad, a little sweet, not for me. Ghost pepper ketchup also just not amazing. I would take burger sauce over that ghost pepper ketchup for sure. But I just want to try something different. You guys got two sauces tonight, so hopefully you enjoyed that. But I don't know what this weather's supposed to do. I'm just going to keep going. It's kind of calmed down, like I said. So maybe it's good and done. Or close to it. I don't know. But I want to stick that fire back up for sure. Try to dry out my feet because I got completely soaked all the way through. And I'm planning on a little 4th of July celebration here in a little bit, hopefully. I don't know. We'll see what the weather does. Stay tuned. Might be good. Uh, I'm doing it. I don't care if it's raining. We're celebrating the 4th of July. Stick around. All right, so we have a small array of fireworks here that I'd like to let off. I don't know what missile defense system is. I've never seen it. This one is parachute rocket. Don't know. Sky monster. 
and war hammer crackers. I don't know. Well, we'll see what happens. Didn't expect that. Pretty much blew up right on my feet. What these parachutes are about. Uh, this is probably better off than day because I'm sure there's a little parachute hanging right now that we can't see. Last one. All right, guys. So, good morning. <clears throat> Not the best night of sleep I've ever had. I'm being all wet and rainy. And the side window in the camper I left open. I forgot that until the rain was pretty much done. Didn't realize that until I got in bed and everything was wet. So, that was not ideal. So, except a little bit at a time kind of woke up you know rolling around toss and turn it I don't know. of course you know it's not easy to sleep when you're damp but i uh, gotta get everything packed pretty much ready to go definitely ready for a coffee i'm gonna have a reese's international delight iced coffee i've actually not seen these in these cans much they're usually in like that big carton thing i get those every so often but uh, coffee choices in these parts are a little slim. Well, sweet. Definitely tastes a lot different in a can than it does that cardboard carton. But anyway, yeah, other than rain, pretty good trip. I really like the caverns. Um, Thought those are pretty neat. She was saying that the uh, first people to really go in there uh, smoked meat. They would hang it from the top, smoke it, the smoke would pour out the door because they were real close to the door. So people driving by would just see the smoke coming out. So they just kind of call it smoke hole caverns. Moonshiners had settled there. I guess a lot of people been out of there over the years. Yeah, pretty cool. I liked it. Um, I thought about kind of filming her the whole time to get you guys the actual like info but it ended up being like a half hour tour so but a pretty long video trying to edit all that out so i figured i'd just kind of give you a rundown afterwards i'm going to edit in some facts there through the walkthrough give you guys a little more info on it and uh dinner was good i mean been a lot better if it was nice but that's how it is for cookouts for me. Every time I have one, it rains, so I'm not really surprised there. But yeah, it's pretty good. Got to try a couple new sauces. And got to have a little fireworks show. 
wasn't much, but that's what I got to buy on the side of the road on the way here, so. But anyway, rambling on. Hope you guys had a safe and fun July the 4th. But next week, we will do it again. So definitely tune back in for that. And uh, thanks for coming along on this little adventure. Stick with me until the end if you've made it this far. Think about leaving me a comment. I definitely like to respond to you guys and hear what you guys have to say. And uh, yeah, think about hitting that subscribe button maybe. I guess that helps me out. And it's free. I guess you just hit the button, tells you when I upload, and be good to go. But I'm soggy. Definitely soggy. I have no backup shoes so currently i'm just barefooted in wet shoes not my favorite way to walk around so i'm gonna get home get all this stuff dried out i'm not really gonna mess with breakfast i don't really have anything to make anyways so I might hit something on the way home i don't know I got plenty of time it's only like eight o'clock so maybe i'll see a drive through and hit that on the way but if not Stay tuned for next week. Thanks for watching.